Again, again. <laughs> <laughs> good, good luck. Good luck, stupid cat. Let's see. But even but a king uh, has to bow to an emperor. So, stupid cat, we believe. Prepare for battle. Isla starting off with two circlets, two slippers of agility. Okay. Let's see if that's going to be effective against them. Probably. It's actually not that bad. This looks so Gives him a lot of damage. I mean, he has 69 damage with this build. That's very nice. Big fight starting out. Force to level the lead. Time walk back. And we'll just be able to walk away. They should just uh, circumvent their attention to the other runes. They have a very weak level 1 fight on the dire side. They really do. Faceless Void doesn't bring anything to the table. He might try to bait some damage. Seconds to battle. So you need to run away. And interesting build coming out from RMN. I'm going to say that I like it. They know that most of the damage is going to be physical. Some right clicks from Nature's Prophet. Faceless Void. So he bought a casual buckler. This is... I'm getting some puppy flashbacks back in the days when the buckler was, I believe, only upgradable to mech. And he did buy a casual buckler a lot of the times. Yeah, this time around it does have a triple upgrade potential. Guardian Greaves, the Flads, and the AC, which most certainly should become the Flads because it's first such blood. a good item. First Blood, wait, On what? I was... I... I... I missed that completely. <laughs> I was, like, looking at randomly walking back to the lane people because they never expected a first blood to happen. Told you, this guy's stupid, cat. He's really good. First blood, killing the king in the mid lane, hearing chains. Didn't do it solo, but uh, yeah, we don't have to go into details. Yeah, no, that's just... They were his supporting cast. They were there to cheer him on while he did that, managed to handle that kill solo. Miracle kills off Mad Frog. The bottom lane is also not starting off the way they would like, uh, especially a very strange kill. I mean, Rubik is slow, that is true, and Wording Axis does get you that little bit of slow going, but he didn't even get any creep hits in on the uh, troll order. They just walked down the Rubik. Dyer's courier has been killed. Radiant's courier has been killed. Oh, they killed. just snipe each other's couriers. But unfazed, drop oh. in low. One more hit. We'll be able to get back, but are you really that comfortable? Could TP back to base, and then TP back to lane. But decides to get sending out, sending out the courier. Next shockwave plus wave of terror. He could be in trouble. Isla, putting in some pressure on the ghost with these right clicks. One more hit, and there it is. The kill gets secured. Unfazed still drops down. And this, uh, he doesn't have time lock, so he doesn't have a chance to get any bashes. He's gonna get stunned up by Armin, and he just straight up dies. <gasps> Ooh, that one hurts. Oof. No time walk. Uh, now they're gonna be like close to level three after those kills. How's mid lane doing? Nine and four against six and one. Stupid cat does have bottle. That first blood. So male going for bracer build. No, two and points of dragon him. blood, so he really yeah. doesn't care about your level two flame guard. The power of DK. There's some matchups where you just don't care. Never refuse go. And the top lane needs to be very careful, as we've already seen. The damage output between them is pretty good. It's not as good as uh, like a centaur plus one, but. Magnus does a very good job at keeping it uh, close to the center of damage, at least. Bottom lane is the problematic one. I think Lord all three not lanes getting are the him. problematic ones at the moment. Especially the bottom one. He's not really getting too much on this Lordar. Miracle, 13 and 7. Like, he can get close to a hero. Miss chance, wind run, 100% miss chance, and it's kind of be hard to keep track on every single lane. Faces Void dying one more time. There are five kills. I think I've missed three. So, gotta step up my camera work. Okay, let's focus. Everyone's HP bars are dropping. I need no ally. 
Nothing to be missed here. Uh, stupid cat in mid. Actually, he is gonna grab the bottle refill. <laughs> Look at all the creeps chasing after both stupid cat and Samil. Samil's got two full waves chasing after him. Could go for the third if he uh, so pleases. They made a new lane for themselves in the river. Who's gonna farm mid? Slightly more to the right. No. <laughs> Guys, mid. Ah, no, I got distracted again. There's weird stuff happening in mid. I'm curious about that. Slarda, he wants to go for a man fight against the Troll Warlord. Not the best target to go for it, because the Troll Warlord has that evasion going. And Slardar underneath the tower will be taken down. Tries to block vision of him. While Unfaced gets taken down in the top solo. lane by Ghost, who is completely solo. Not even a little bit, but our man was gone. Oof, uh, they're falling apart already. Four minutes into the game, 3k gold lead for Enigma Galaxy. Miracle, but a bit of a pause. Yeah, Miracle uh, is... Okay, he's queued up Falcon Blade. So not like a Battle Fury Super Rush, but seems to be maybe a bit more of an aggressive build this game. Well, seems like they want to put as much pressure as possible. Doesn't want to go farm heavy. One thing I like about this build from RMN is that he's going to have really early Vlads. You know, he starts with Buckler, brings Ring of Bassy after being involved in two of those skills, suddenly you pick up Blades of the Attack and all you need is Morbid Mask. So that's a very cheap item. I think uh, we're going to see that quite more. We talked about the item being very popular on the offlaners, but uh, I could also see some position force picking it up uh, as a rush, as we're seeing right now on RMN. I think in general, once a Morphling starts picking up the item, uh, it, it seems to be pretty good. Uh... A non-stats item on a Morphling, then the, the item must be really in a very good position. Even though it didn't really like get a big buff or anything. I think it got a very tiny buff actually. What was it again? Uh, oh yeah, the fact that it can be disassembled, I think that's the biggest buff. Yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, I mean, all the components are cheap as well. Like usually you don't like disassemble because like, you can turn... Bassy into mana boots. You can turn your buckler into AC, which is you know not the the greatest upgrade for position fours. Guardian Greaves is okay, but that's just not an item at the moment. And yeah, Morbid Mask you can get Satanic or Mask of Madness. But uh, yeah, it's really good on the certain carries like Morphling, as we've seen, where he can later on turn that into his Satanic. Oh, Mad Frog Bottom dodges it. Oh, um, top side. You. Okay, Isla you're doing good. Well. And, uh, girls? Oh, I was, uh, okay, so b top, I'm, I saw one kill, and I thought something else was happening bottom, so I was, like, quickly jumping to bottom. Second guy dies top lane, but Armin does get taken down as a counter kill. Mid lane. Ah, stop dying. <laughs> he just TP'd it, didn't he, or no? A few. Right. They're going down way too quickly. How is he solo killing him? This is like third time that he managed to get a solo kill. Our man is not even there. With level two in power, uh, two skewer, and one shockwave. Like, he doesn't even have a, like max shockwave to be the surprise damage. He might mainly has to right click them. Bounty. Samil's level 6, and we'll be going for that tier 1 tower towards mid. The harass onto the Ember Spear is going to be pretty rough. Iron Man is walking all the way around. There's going to be a stun to be thrown. Iron Man doesn't even throw it out just yet. Right click is enough. Double damage, Vengeful Spirit. Turn their attention towards the tier 1 tower. This is a dead tower. DD Catapult plus Dragonite. Uh, this has always been a thing with Nigma Galaxy. You can expect both supports to go mid level 6. Miracle looks uh, very dead here, unless he can get some misses. Oh, evasion coming There's in. One. Still finds a kill before he drops, but. And Ghost killed him again. Ghost solo killed, unfazed one more time. But he did use RP this time. <laughs> Ghost is 7 0 0. What? <laughs> Middle tower has <laughs> this is He's the reverse James Bond. Uh, 
He's also got like the double Wraith ban, he's going for the Orchid next. I think he's still uh, forgetting that he's in off lane and uh, not a safe lane anymore. Towards mid, a kill comes in onto Stupid Cat. He's not level 6 yet on the Ember. And that's starting to become a very big problem here for Hinnani. Yeah, let's see. Okay, Mad Frog will at least get the experience rune. We'll be able to uh, hopefully get their level 6s on time, especially the Rubik. The Nate's Prophet one. Actually, both their level 6 spells are really good. Still need a lot of XP for it. Unfazed. Trying to sprout Dyer's some mail in the mid lane. But uh, that's about it. Double... Bracer, power treads, another gloves of haste. Still level five on no, stupid, stupid cat. cat. Not again. Guru tries to get the shackle shot, but the mini stun might be enough to get the kill. Stupid cat dropping low, drinking bottle charges. He got but the power shot from Kuro down, down, secured. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. As I say that, Wind Ranger's in trouble. Kuro's being charged at. DK Sun onto the Slardar and the Shackle Shot onto two. The Slardar is in trouble. Kuro does drop. Samil's surrounded by enemies. Gets bashed up. But these two supports, they're not really the best damage dealers. Oh, he slides here. Does have Chronosphere. Might need to use it. Otherwise, he's going to run away. Troll. Walking in is Miracle. Samil is going to get taken down. Miracle continuing his attention to Mad Frog. Going Who's going to use more. it first? Metal Transport Chrono. He okay, he does it. get the clip so that the Ember can get some damage in, but it doesn't matter. He still has the Battle Trans at the ready. In comes Lil One, going for another fight. Kuro's respawn, walking back. And while all of that's going on, Ghost is still in top lane. But it's a great power shot onto Isla. Needs to leap out of there. The Slard are going back in again with Unfazed. <laughs> Why are they constantly fighting? They do manage to kill off Miracle in the end, but Kuro should be able to walk away. Hinini bringing in numbers. Their heroes are uh, very underleveled, so they respawn almost immediately. While all this was happening, a ghost is farming in the top lane, going for Orchid as his first item. He wants to be able to control Faceless Void and Ember Spirit. And this is going to be... Fun, very quick orchids, just uh, 900 gold away from it. Yeah, it's uh, 6k up with lead. Okay, 7k up with lead. Stop changing so fast. Uh, Ghost is close to his item. Miracle is going for a man. Oh, look style. at the stack that Ghost is clearing in the triangle. Money, Thank you, money, RMN. Money. And max level and power as well, so he can clear everything very quickly. Also keeps uh, his shockwave level 1, so that Rubik doesn't have a good spell to steal. Very annoying that they do that when I play Rubik. Yeah, he's also a universal hero, so maxing out your other, like just getting stats, feels really good on him. Shackle shot, nice. Throws out a power shot in behind it. Samil's playing like one of the most boring heroes in the game, by the way. Dyer's bottom tower uh, Dragonite can't really make this guy anything. look flashy until you, you know, get some Octarine core, Mantis style. I got him Scepter. Giant's ring. Just because then you're really stupidly big, which is cool. Yeah. This is a good spell to steal. Mad Frog getting Breathe Fire plus Fade Bolt. That's a lot of damage reduction between these two spells. And Ghost with the Orchid walking up, Samil in the front. He's going to tank the brunt of the damage if it's coming their way. He also went for the Hannah Midas build. Dark speed's pretty good on DK. And in general, experience is key because you want to get your Elder Dragon form level 3 as soon as possible. Here comes our men. Vlad's already online. One point in Vengeance Aura just to amplify damage even more. Ghost will get the kill with his newly purchased Orchid, Soul Burn. 12 minutes. Already an 8k gold lead for Enigma Galaxy. 
Miracle. Radiance Middle Tower. Lambda Style Dispersion. I was already wondering when I would see because there was a time when you had like um, Morphlings a lot and uh, versus troll matchups and they always went for like Diffusal Blade on troll against the Morphling. I was wondering when we get to see Diffusal Blade troll back with Dispersion being so freaking good. Yeah, it's it's definitely back and they they want a Roche. Miracle's going in, has Empower for another 10-15 seconds. RMN is also here. Give him that lifesteal. And Nate's Prophet ulti use. Doesn't really do much. They were trying to get their catch onto Ghost, but while all of this is going on, as you mentioned, they're just in the rope pit. And slowly but surely taking it down. Miracle. Perfect stacks. Always great. Oh, Ghost. Gotta be careful. And they get the catch. Nope, he skewers. And he's gone. They need the Void, like, Blink Clock Chrono there to make anything happen. And maybe Ember with the Searing Chains would be able to catch him. But yeah, that's a very fast rush. 13 and a half minutes. They could also go for enemies XP rune at 14 minutes since they have Observer Ward there. Try to get a kill. And that's exactly what Miracle and RMN are doing. They'll even pop the smoke. Looking to get a catch. Unfazed would be the first target to encounter. Breathe Fire gets stolen again. Unfazed. Get spotted out and there's nowhere to go, nowhere to run. He will be found out. Samil charging forward on towards the Rubik he goes. And Mad Frog will be a second one down. RMN killing spree coming out on the Vengeful Spirit. He's also got that Vlads. So they have the auras required. Miracle is closing in the, in the diadem. Actually has the Manta style recipe first. It's the expensive one. 1550. 1550 and you get no stats from it. Nice. <laughs> There's the RP, Skewer drag back coming in, Kuro gets the shackle shot connection and the little one trying to do some damage in response, not gonna work, three man Chrono does connect, right click from Unfazed, is it gonna be enough to kill the Magnus? Yes indeed, stolen power shot as well by Mad Frog, definitely does help for the Chrono damage, then they find two kills, two pretty big kills, both go to Mad Frog though, so the Rubik's uh, getting a nice chunk of change, which stupid cat really needs. Ah, big Chrono. Uh, you can feel that these heroes are dying. You get Corrosive Haze onto them, even level 1, minus 10 armor, it's quite a lot. Manta Style now finished on Miracle. They want to dive some towers, it seems. Mad Frog. Yeah. This triangle has been Miracle's domain for most of this game. Armen follows Miracle. That's it. Yeah, that's Land all you need. Done, gives them vision and gives them extra damage. Life steal from Vlad. So they want to push this tier two tower. Is still available for two and a half minutes. Ghost has the blink ar the dagger now available as well. So you got to be careful with the uh, RP plays. It's still on cooldown for a bit, but blink RP orchid. You can easily nuke down a Faces Void or an Ember Spirit. Actually, yeah, anyone really is a target at this stage. Isla versus Kuro. Leap forward. Kuro just uses Windrun as well. The Bash has come out. They will lose on phase, but Kuro is going to get taken down. So they will find a couple of kills going in their favor. Base, by the way. Troll with Manta style. Our man still sitting behind them. That's their lift. Just pop two glyphs in the matter of in the span of a minute. Miracle still has that Aegis. Pump out damage. Ghost. Uh I guess doesn't need the skewer. Stolen skewer actually by the Rubik, but Miracle is now behind enemy lines and he's going deep underneath the tier 4 tower. Isla. Does he have a way to keep that frog alive? No, he does not. There's going to be control on the troll, possibly coming out with the Ember buyback, joining in the fun. Roots onto Miracle, Manta Cell dodge, bye. I'm gone, I'm not going to play your game underneath the tier fours. I'm going to go for your tier three instead. <laughs> Both Samael and Miracle have Mantas available already. Good luck defending your towers. 15k gold lead, 17 minutes. They're going to lose their barracks. And they have maybe... One big fight left in the tank. There is Chronosphere available. 
in a few seconds. Problem is, they don't have damage that goes inside Chrono. Rubik needs to steal something. There are some big uh, spells, free fire, power shot. It's a lot of magic damage output, but these towers, they, they melt. <laughs> Yeah, with the uh, troll server stacks going ham, buildings do drop pretty quickly. You give him the uh, the buff as well from the Magnus. Nice and power buff, and troll goes ham. He is going to get croned on the side, while little one randomly just walks into it as well. Miracle's going to get taken down, and RP on to three. Breathe fire as a response. Go skewers them back. They're dropping very low. Little one, he's surrounded by the rest of the Radiant side. And they will lose all three of their main cores. Triple kill for Ghost. I mean, if you get an RP, you might as well get it on all three of the enemy cores and make sure they can't move a muscle. Oof, that's our last left. Chronosphere was nicely placed. It caught RMN inside of it. But uh, yeah, again, the problem is they do not have enough damage whatsoever. Mad Frog, Skewer, Ghost misses. <laughs> a ghost. Might die here. Gotta be careful, Mad Frog wants to go in. Gets the f Skewer plus Fade Bolt Zap. Six skill streak picked up for Mad Frog. Rubik's doing pretty nasty stuff. This game. Some good stuff to steal. Unfazed died somewhere behind. Kuro, no wind run available at the moment. The sun comes out. Miracle charging forward. Kuro is going to get swapped out to safety or not. No, will be controlled up. In comes Miracle. Pops his ulti. Goes ham with the damage. And they'll ignore the slardar while walking up the high ground. They're just looking to finish this game off quickly on Nigma. They know that after this series, they have another series to play. So they don't want to get too tired. I want to end this one as quickly as possible. Tier 3 tower already gone. RMN is just sitting behind them. Vlad Zora, three points and Vengeance Zora. So that's quite a lot of damage onto both mid laner and safe laner, plus also the illusions. Little one. I think they caught a glimpse of him. And Samili's also got the Mage Slayer, which with the big fat. Manta style dragons means that they are uh, bulky boys. Oh, stupid cat. Even though he got the first blood, was unable to farm any items. He did pick up uh, Shard as his first item on Ember Spirit. That's a weird one. <laughs> That's the first <laughs> time I've ever seen that. First item Giant's Shard on Ember. Maybe as a support, you know, some people do play him as a position four. You probably get like a rod of eight or something, or... Yeah, you get something. Yeah. yeah. Orb of Corrosion, now a Mage Slayer would also sound pretty nice. But Enigma Galaxy, they're ready to close this one out. The last set of racks left standing between them and Megas. And then, of course, they still have to go for tier fours. In from behind, they're coming. Isla's got the chrono, jumps in forward. RP gets used. And they are still hugging buddies right now. There will be the chrono coming in, turning his attention towards Ghost. There's just so little damage coming out. The stolen RP from Mad Frog, though. Doing some nasty work or nothing. It could also be nothing. Ghost will be taken down. This troll warlord is just unleashed. The DK, Troll Warlord, Manta Sal, Wambo Combo Duo. There's also a Diffusal Blade now on the troll. That's a full Disperser. He just dispelled himself that time walk. It's a male. He gets the stun. Ooh, Isla can't get the leap. Triple kill secured for Miracle. Going in for Mad Frog. We saw the DK stun. Glimmer Cape. Gotta get back. And he just got back. Uh oh. <laughs> Mill one joins in. With the stomp while the troll ult was going on, which you know, that's just gonna cost you your life pretty quick. I'm no expert, but it might be time to call this one. There, there it go. is. Yeah. Miracle was even ready to buy out the shard for the extra fervor buff so that she could push faster. <laughs> okay, this one wasn't uh, a close one, but uh, yeah, in and eat. You know, we don't expect them to win against Nigma Galaxy, uh, but uh, if...